four each. Okay, data, key, and value. Okay, so we are going to construct an L, uh, an SQL string. So we're going to say SQL is equal to update users set and then we leave it there so we're going to set the key is equal to value one by one so what we're going to do here is say sql is equal to now instead of just putting an equal to we're going to put a point equal to so that we add to what's already there so we're going to say key like that okay a key and then we add uh, concatenate a string is equal to like that value okay oh oops pressing the wrong key all right so here we have to put a single quote in there and a single quote there so that uh, this value is enveloped in two single quotes like that so key is equal to that and that and then we leave a, a little bit of a space there and we put a comma okay so what will happen is that it's going to continuously add every key and every value to this uh, sql until it's long enough and then by the end of the day, it's going to have one extra comma at the end, which we might not need. So we must trim that, and that's easy to do. It's going to be X SQL is equal to trim SQL, and then we can put a comma so that we select what to, tr to trim. We put it in the inverted commas, and that's the comma. So we trim the commas, and then we have to tell it where to save this data okay now we need to have an id so that's the data and then we put a comma and let's put id there we will supply that id from the other side so then we're going to say again dot equals okay so here there's no dot equals here there is a dot equals okay so sql dot equals space and then we're going to say where id where user id is equal to single quote actually let's just put id right there single quote id and then say limit one like that okay so that's a query right there and then uh, all we have to do now is db save sql okay now we still need to create the db here so i'll copy this at the top mm -hmm. so everything seems fine so far the only way to know is to test it so i'll type hello there oh i'm outgoing yeah something simple in those lines okay so let's save all right too few arguments of course we didn't give uh where is this settings where is this oh it's profile at the top here so we're supposed to give it the id here so i'm going to copy my session id and then i'm going to come here after post comma paste save let's do it again all right so everything uh, seems to not have gone well because i can see my uh <laughs> about me here so let's go to the table and see if we can actually see it okay so about is not there 
why is that did I put a name here and there it is about so what we would do is we're going to check to see if there's something wrong with the query that we are sending all right so let me come down here before we save the query what I want to do is say echo SQL and then I'm going to tell it to die right there so let's come back here and let me type something here gibberish and hit send all right so here is our SQL now it says update users set first name is equal to okay which is fine last name is equal to email is equal to password is equal to about is equal to where user id is equal to our limit one so the only thing uh, that is wrong here is the comma at the very very end there so we have to get rid of that comma before the where close so it seems this part isn't working when it's supposed supposed to work so let me see what the sql looks like before we add the where close so let me refresh that and there we go there's a comma at the very very end so we need to re remove that comma okay so sql is equal to trim this was supposed to have done that but uh, it's not doing that okay so we, we use a different uh, technique we're going to use a uh, substring okay to get a substring so we're going to say sql is equal to sub string so the string is the sql and the starting point is zero because we want to get everything and then the ending point is uh, string length we want it to end at the the length of this same string oh, let me put that sql but minus one So let me remove that so let's see if we have removed the comma at the end and it doesn't seem like we have oh the reason why actually that should have worked just fine I don't need this is because we are putting a space at the very end there I think that's probably what was causing it let me try that again ah there we go so that's gonna work now refresh save okay so everything has been saved so i am out going and such save now if i put a different password here i just say hey it's not gonna save but if i say hello hello I think the password has changed but how do we know <laughs> we possibly can't know one two three four unless we try to log in so let me try and log out and then log in again hello hello oh, there's only one and it has worked so yeah it's working just fine okay so this is how you do the settings here all right so now let's add the about section itself uh, the only thing we have to add is this text down here so let's go to uh, our folder and profile content settings let's copy that and paste it again and then change the very last part from settings to uh, about.php all right so now that we have that if we click on about it's going to show us what's on the settings but let's edit things we need everything except the text area and we can change the text area to a div and uh, what else the name is not what we need there and that's it so when i refresh on the about i get 
I'm about to uh, I am outgoing and such and such so we can use some dummy text here to see if I go to settings then I can I can add some other gibberish and then go to the about section and there you go so you see it's expanding depending on the content uh, but you might not want to see this bordered line here so what you will do is you can just come in here and say border none like so and refresh and there we go so this is about me uh, photos settings following followers and the timeline so everything is working so far so good. The only thing remaining now to complete this website is for when a user clicks on an actual post or a comment section, and then we are taken, we, we take them to a section which has just that post and then they can add some comments. So I'll see you in the next video when we do exactly that.